you overwhelmed by oxygen not included? Are you struggling to survive? You're probably thinking, how the f do I do this? Look no further. G'day guys, how's it going? Zeppi here. I have over a thousand hours in oxygen not included, and I'm here to teach you how to survive. If you haven't checked out my first video, make sure you check it out to familiarize yourself with what to do on your first cycle in oxygen not included. Let's get into it. Our next biggest priority needs to be food. In order to get food, we need to do research. And for research, we need power. So what I'm going to take you through in this episode is how we can set up research, power, and a battery. So what we have to understand about power and research is that it gives off heat. Now, heat rises. So we want to put the power generation, battery, and research at the top of the base. We're going to dig diagonally up this way so we can get some copper. I'm going to start at the top. I don't know how that plant is growing out of the copper. And we'll work our way down. We're going to get them to dig up with a ladder. By now, your printing pod should have lit up to say that there is something that can come through. If you click on it and choose blueprint, you'll have a couple of options. You can either print a new dupe to come through or any of the other options that you can select or none you can just reject all of them if you wanted to this early on in the game i would recommend just sticking with three dupes and selecting whatever other option that comes up uh for example ox fern seed fantastic it is a plant that absorbs co2 and produces oxygen so i'm gonna get that so now that the dupes have dug a nice little area up the top here, I'm going to put in power, a research station, and battery. And I'll link them all up with wire. Look at them go. Now that they've built the manual generator, the battery, and the research station, we can get researching. By now, you may have realized, or you may have seen, that there is no more oxalite in your direct area. This means that there is no oxygen production. So we're going to need to take care of that straight away. And we're going to do that by building a oxygen diffuser. I'm going to plonk my oxygen diffuser right down the bottom here. And we're going to put some nice tiles underneath that as well. If you have a look, the oxygen diffuser actually requires power as well. So we are going to hook this up to the battery and generator that we did up the top. Just for neatness sake, I'm going to go up the ladder and through the tiles and link that up to the main power source of the battery and the generator. Now we have a working oxygen diffuser. The way that the oxygen diffuser works is it takes algae from the environment which looks like this green patch here. And when it's dug up, it turns into little algae balls and it turns it into oxygen. So we are going to need to keep a steady supply of algae in order for this oxygen diffuser to work. We're going to put in a storage bin next to the oxygen diffuser and we're going to fill it with algae. Right, so I've selected organic for this storage bin. Now the dupes are going to sweep up all the algae on the map and put it into the storage bin. Because it is using power, the dupes will need to manually charge the battery so that the diffuser can run. Now that we have the research station organized and the oxygen diffuser running, we need to do some research. Question is, what to research first? I would highly recommend that you focus on food first. So we are going to need to get a farm work up and running as soon as possible. So the dupe with a research skill or research interest is going to do that research. That is how you can survive in the early cycles of oxygen not included. Join me next time on building a farm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.